The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all these all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a wave right now. There's a movement towards abolishing law and order. But if we know Jesus says that he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. He's come to really to show a deeper meaning of the law and help us to internalize the law and to fully live it out. Some of the Israelites back then were just kind of observing the law because they felt obligated to observe the law, but they didn't really interiorize it. They didn't love it. They didn't allow it to change them. And that's what Jesus is doing. He says, don't just observe the law like that. Truly immerse yourself in the law. Let it change you. Let it direct you. Let it give you life and nourishment, right? So that's what he's telling us to do. You know, sometimes people say, they, you know, we, we, we are born into this world without um, an owner's manual, without instructions. And they go and they buy books and self-help books and they, they go to conferences and they listen to speakers and everyone wants to find happiness and fulfillment. But we do have an owner's manual from the owner himself. He created us, he knows what we're about. He knows how we work. He knows what will make us truly be happy and fulfilled. He knows our, our, our destiny. He knows what we're made for, and he knows how to get us there. And so he give us his laws, his word. But so many people don't even know the Bible. They don't know the law. They don't know the words. In fact, they find it oppressive, right? God's word, Bible, religion, all that is just oppressive. The commandments, all that takes away from my freedom, from my joy. No, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It gives us true freedom. It gives us true life. It gives us true fulfillment. And so we, and so we are to immerse ourselves in this. You know, the religious sisters, in a, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna give, uh, give a retreat to some of the sisters. And the sisters, the priests, the, the, the religious orders, every morning they spend time in front of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and they meditate on scripture. All the saints do this, St. Teresa of Avila, St. John of the Cross, St. Therese of Lisieux. They all meditate on scripture day and night, every day. They love God's law. This is precious. This is priceless. You can't buy this. It's only, it only comes as a gift from God. And so immerse ourselves in the word of God. So what, that's what these nuns and these priests and these religious do. They read and they meditate on God's word day and night. And this changes them. This sanctifies them. This forms them, conforms them to Jesus so that they may truly live out this life of holiness and in conformity to God's will. So let us not see God's law as oppressive or takes away our freedom, but let us recognize it for what it is. It's a precious gift from God that we can't get anywhere else. And it really does nourish our soul, it forms us. And so let us follow the words of Jesus and let us interiorize it, let us embrace it, let us love it and fully live it out. That way we will find true fulfillment and happiness. Mm -hmm.